Good evening, Internet. This is Pegasus Boot. How is everyone doing? I thought I'd try to do something new, something I've never done. It's a little different for this channel. Today I'm going to tell you a story. Yes, that's right, a story. Today I'm going to tell you about the time almost my entire GameStop quit. To begin with, let me clarify. I worked at GameStop from 2005 until 2007, and my experience at that company, as well as my opinions on said company, are just that. My experiences, as well as my own opinions. Because of this, I will use pseudonyms for people, because I don't want to get sued, and I don't want anyone to get pissed. Today's pseudonyms come from the wonderful Square... Blah, blah, so I say Square Enix game, but it's actually a Square game called Final Fantasy VII because it's, you know, coming out again and again. So yeah, on PS4. Spoiler, Aerith doesn't die this story. And yes, I said Aerith. Isn't it weird that when you rearrange the letters, it's I Earth? J just saying. Not saying she's Roxas or anything. Okay, where to begin? My manager, Barrett, he went to a GameStop conference that was hosted by Nintendo. And um, th there were some discussions with our district manager. Let's call him Master Tonberry. Now, Master Tonberry must have complained about our numbers, i.e. the subscriptions and registrations that we get. Because after going to this conference, he gave us this grand lecture about how Master Tonberry had made the suggestion of cleaning house. And I said to him, no, nah, I, I don't think that's really necessary. I still believe in these people. And, you know, I'm going to go back and I'm going to motivate them. Now, cleaning house, in case you're not familiar, it means to fire every single person at the store and start fresh with new hires. It's a pretty simple concept. Like I said, Barrett was not okay with this. Barrett's a really awesome guy. Now, how close were we to Barrett, you might be wondering, because, you know, it's his job's on the line, too, you know, if uh, he can't motivate us. Well, well, we all got together every week and played Dungeons and Dragons together. We all still keep contact to this very day. And, hell, I was living with our own ass man, Sid, and his wife, Yuffie. Now, that's, of course, a joke because assistant manager, ass man, assistant manager, I'm dumb. Anyways. So when Barrett came back from the conference, he tried to get us pumped about reservations and subscriptions. And you know what? For a while it worked. Hell, he was so convincing and good at what he did, he got us to get hyped up for the Zoom. That's right. That terrible invention by Microsoft. I still have one, even though it's like the third one because they kept it breaking. It's one of the perks about working at a GameStop, right? Hmm. Maybe we should have been fired. Now let's see. I, I, I mention all of this why. Why did that, do I mention cleaning house? It has nothing to do with us quitting, right? I just wanted to remind you of what sort of organization GameStop was during 2007. Now, it could be completely different now. I don't know because, like I said, I worked from 05 to 07. I had toyed with the idea of quitting before, especially when I stopped being my store's senior game advisor, or SGA, their third key. It's kind of like a shift leader, glorified cashier, really. Anyways, I thought about quitting it when I was in college, you know, and I had to switch back down to do that. During the month or two leading up to the very anticipated game, Halo 3, there must have been something in the air because our store manager and dungeon master, Barrett, he had decided that he wanted to quit GameStop, presumably to further his terrorist group's activities. Avalanche forever, yo. I didn't know how everyone was going to take me leaving as well, so... While playing d and I picked and chatted our current senior game advisor, Red13, and he was all, You're quitting too? Me too, man. When? That was the big question. I can't remember if his wife, Aerith, had quit or not. Probably so because she was pregnant at the time with a little chocobo. But yeah, we all decided around the same time that we should quit. But once again, when should we quit? Halo 3 launch was probably the most appropriate time. We were all super psyched for that game. We all wanted one more kick-ass midnight launch, with which, in hindsight, even though we 
hated the Kool-Aid, we still must have been drinking it pretty heavily. So, for Halo 3, we had uh, teamed up with the place next door, and we had a World of Warcraft tournament at the sandwich shop next door. Let's call this place the Golden Saucer. Sure, why not? In our store, we had a Halo 2 tournament going on for people who had pre-regged. You know, wait, did I say pre-regged? This is an anime convention. I mean, reserved. Wow, I'm really dumb. Anyways. Now, I might have been elitist to mainly only have the tournament for these people who had reserved. Uh, I think we might have included, like, let some people else sign up, but the only way you were going to win is if you had reserved. And so that, you know, that got some people who were like, man, I'm going to put some money down. And like I said, we were drinking heavily of the Kool-Aid because even though it was our last night, we were still trying. And I'm trying to think. We had the World of Warcraft card tournament. We had, let's see, World of Warcraft. We had the Halo tournament. I think we were supposed to get a magician, but I can't remember if we got one or not. My Now, my buddy Bahamut, he worked there as well, uh, briefly. Uh, I'd like to give a shout-out to him as he worked there just to get the discount. Help us out. And uh, Oh, by the way, when I say discount, I don't mean at GameStop. He wanted to get the discount at Barnes & Noble, which owned GameStop at the time. Or, at the very least, they still had stock there. In fact, he just mainly got, uh, wanted the discount to get the Starbucks coffee discounted. At, at that Barnes & Noble. So it wasn't even for the Barnes & Noble. Um, see, he had a real job at the time. A career, you might say, at Domino's. Since we knew everyone, except for my roommate, assistant manager, Sid, uh, our buddy, Zach, and his girlfriend, Tifa, we wanted to celebrate things, right? Sorry, I wrote this out, so I kind of read that weird. I put the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable there. My bad. Anyways. So, my buddy said he uploaded all the Xboxes with the Halo Map Pack collection, and that took, like, forever, like, at least two days. We took some pictures, uh, we wore some Halo and military stuff, and we even had an awesome cookie cake that this guy bought. That's right, me. And, uh, put the, you know, the year that we started, the year that we're quitting, and it happened to be the same years, and a little one-up mushroom, which was pretty awesome. Can't believe they did that, because that was copyright infringement. So, everything went fine. I got knocked out of the tournament pretty early, because I suck. Unlike everyone else who was playing, I mean, our team, our store was pretty good at Halo, um, especially Sid, his wife Yuffie, and our buddy Zach. So, hey, don't worry, though. We weren't allowed to win, which it's still unfair to have people working there, I guess, in the tournament. But after everything was all said and done, we closed the doors and settled our affairs. Barrett canceled most of his reservations, which was a lot of money. Uh, I, um, hey, you know what? Just for fun, let's call myself Kate Sith, right? <sighs> That's stupid. Anyway, because it just made sense to do so, right? Sid, Zach, and Zach's girlfriend, Tifa, were staying on, so it wasn't as important to do so at the time. I can't remember if Red 13 needed to do it or not. The funny thing is, um, yeah, this would bite some of us in the butt, possibly. Um, things are funny. I, I technically helped Sid a couple more times at the store because he needed the help, but I never got paid because he took me out of the system, and when he put me back into the system, it gave me a new pay card because... GameStop doesn't give people paper paychecks. That'd be too easy. See, kids don't have bank accounts, so you give them this little debit card and you get to put... It's a long story. I'll talk about it another time. I helped him, like, twice, and then I stopped because, you know, my heart wasn't in it. I already quit. He begged me, whatever. Now, they eventually got a new manager. Let's call him Vincent. And Sid, he never became the store manager, even though Master Tonberry, he kept dangling it over his head, you know, making him work really, really hard. Us quitting might have hurt his chances, but, you know, in the long run, that doesn't really matter, as house was officially cleaned shortly later due to Sid and his pregnant wife, Yuffie, having a ton of reservations, and GameStop accusing Sid of making fake reserves under Yuffie's name.
Doesn't that suck? He also wasn't allowed to get any of his money. That's the worst part. Uh, from any of the reservations because he didn't have the receipts. He couldn't approve, He couldn't prove that he paid for it, you know? Which, I don't know. It's BS, but... I know for a fact he completely and legitimately had those reservations because he just did, you know? We, he was a good guy, and I was there for most of it. Like I said, he was my roommate. And, hey, I feel... No, I don't feel bad about saying any of this because, you know what? Our district manager, Master Tonberry, he's not there any longer. All right, so Zach and Tifa, they quit pretty much the second Sid was fired as they were only staying at their fun job because, well, it was fun and it was side income for their real jobs. I think Bahamut quit too? Good times, right? Without a job, I and coincidentally Sid's wife, Yuffie, got really great at Halo 3 until Sid got his chance to practice some and I have never been any better any Halo or FPS in general. I've never been better than him since then and God, it makes me kind of want to quit my job again. Seriously, lots of free time is exactly why 12-year-olds own house on Xbox Live. And, well, that concludes my first episode of Storytime. Hope everyone enjoyed this wonderful story. And if you want to hear me dish more, you know, war stories from GameStop or, heck, even some of my anime convention war stories, please comment down below. Also, if you like my story, please please like and subscribe. It's the only way that I really know that people, a lot of people, liked or disliked this, and hey, it'll help me provide similar or completely different content in the near future. So, hey, GG, everyone. GG.